Hi guys, it's James here from TFC Talk, and today we're looking at the new iPhone 4S. Now, a lot of people said this was going to be the iPhone 5, but of course it wasn't, it was the iPhone 4S. So, the iPhone 5 will be the following generation after this one. So, the iPhone 5 was released on the 4th of October, which of course was the Apple event, but um, because of a few delays, I haven't been able to um, cover the iPhone as quickly as I should have. So I'm just going to um, walk you through the, f um, the new iPhone. So it has a dual core A5 chip set, um, CPU, and new 8 megapixel camera, obviously the um, iOS 5 and Siri. So basically that's all I'm going to say for the minute, and I'm just going to go across to the features. So here we've got the main features that, of course, is sort of a bit improved or a bit new to the iPhone. So we've got Siri, the performance is upgraded, the camera, the new HD video, which is great. There were iOS 5, iCloud, rest in the display, which has been improved with a better resolution as well. And FaceTime. <laughs> so Siri, you might be um, wondering what Siri is, but basically Siri is... Um, while it's an assistant, you can talk to your iPhone, communicate with it, and it will answer you. So this is really good actually, because if you're in a car, it comes really handy. And you might be thinking though, well like I have um, speech recognition for an example on Windows, and it's absolutely hopeless to be honest. But this, it really picks up well what you're saying, and a lot of people have said this who have tried it out. And it's about the best sort of, um, well, speech recognition I've seen so far out there for quite a long time. So, um, it communicates in a different way as well. It communicates like you're talking to a person, um, also. So, here we are, some examples of what you can do on Siri. So, ask for a reminder to send a text, ask about the weather. Ask to set a meeting, an email, ask for a number, um, setting an alarm, a timer, and just ask general things, find something on your iPod, you know. So you could even ask something, you know, like where's the nearest restaurant or pizza restaurant, and it would just come up and it would tell you whereabouts. So also, moving on, we've also got the new dual-core A5 chip, which was featured in the iPad 2. So... This um, new CPU in the uh, iPhone is great because it, it said, well, it said the cl claim that it will run up to two times faster and seven times faster with games, which is just said here, which will make all graphics slots move better, clearer, and better performance generally, and be able to run future applications. And yeah, it also. Uh, says to offer an outstanding battery life here, which is 40 hours. I mean, I mean, that's great because that's what we had before and we've upgraded so much on this new iPhone. So now we've got the new um, camera. So you might be saying, well, it's 8 megapixels. I mean, it's a good camera, but it's... You might be thinking, well, I've seen things in like a couple of years ago in the Sony Satya, for example, 12 megapixels. And this is only 8, so you might think, wow, well, they could have done better on that. But, to be honest, this camera is actually really good. You know, you might get a really good 8 megapixel camera, you might get a rubbish one, it depends how much you pay. But this is quite a good quality, sort of, 8 megapixel camera. It's got um, a new optic lens on it. And the flash is LED, it's great. And it's great for taking pictures in the dark, so let's have a look at the photo gallery. It's feeling like working today. So then we've got a picture here. I mean, it's a bit blurry at the moment because it's really zoomed out, but if we zoom in, you can actually see it's quite good quality. And I think that's just like messing about a bit. So there's another example. I'm just going to zoom in. So you can really see, I mean, we're zoomed in a lot here, so you can actually see, it does really pick up the picture well. 
the resolution's great. I mean, I would actually say this is a really good phone camera, and um, it's not the best. I've seen better things, but it's really surprising for eight megapixels at how good it actually is. It's got motion blur. It's got face detection. It's very accurate. So it's got all those for taking a quick shot and. Yeah, so it's really good. And of course, we've got the new editing software here. So it's just basically cropping things down, automatic red eye removal. All that things you might um, do on your computer with photo editing software. It all comes along with the iPhone now. This is great. Video recording in 1080p. It's really good. I mean, the quality is really good and... I mean, there's not many mobile devices that I've recorded in 1080p. This is quite um, a unique one. And because of the picture, it's very unique. And it's very good quality. It's like, um, be great for everyone who wants to do video logs for, say, YouTube. Or just capture a few moments on video. It's really taken over these camcorders, these um, phone video cameras. Because they're all getting better all the time. Moving on, we've got the new iOS 5, which is said to have over 200 new features. And this is very exciting because now we've got the notification center. It gathers everything in one place. You can have a look at everything. So you can check your stocks, your Facebook notifications, reminders, messages, and phone. Uh, weather, as it's shown here, it's just got everything in one place. Now we've got iMessage, so maybe your friend has an iPhone, an iPod Touch, even an iPad and you want to send text messages and it's absolutely free to um, other Apple devices which is great and that means now iPod Touch will also have the integration of iMessage so now I've got twin Twitter integration here as well, it's not that exciting, it's just something a bit new might be a bit more steady, reminders, that's new, great reminders application now photos of course it is men mentioned uh, cropping doing red eye simple things like that maybe tweaking colors around a bit camera enhancements so uh, we've just got you know a few better options for your camera we've got the new newsstand I think this is great you get all your magazines in one place it's a bit like iBooks really but it's just a better version of it then we've got Safari it's in it's better now, it's it's quicker with the also with the new N adapter in the iPhone and it's less clutter free as it says. So yeah, that's about it for that. And now it's new, um this iCloud. It allows you to connect with other other Apple devices and so share your data wirelessly. There's been a lot of talk about this, but um it's just so simple really. And you know, instead of having to connect using all cables being fiddly and all that, we can just connect wirelessly. We could even connect to our iPhone to the uh, Apple TV. Really handy. So the Retina display even clearer. We've got uh, it's more sharp. Uh, it's got uh, a better resolution, which I'll go through in the tech specifications in a minute. It's um it, it were as long with the processor um, offering better graphics and this better retina display it will make it crystal clear better FaceTime obviously now we've got the 1080p camera in the back so that would be great for video uh, FaceTime I mean video messaging and um, also of course the um, camera on the front improves slightly offering the better FaceTime Airplay, this is um, connecting to your Apple TV, just sending all data across, it's so seamless, it's pretty much the same as iCloud, but said in a different way. You can just um, transfer your photos, show them like it has been projected out, but of course, it's only by a tap of a button of the iPod, you can show a film, and it's like a controller, just adjust all, um, rewind, fast forward on a film, so you can show most of your data on there. And it's great in meetings as well, and things like that. So we've got AirPrint. Now this is, I'm really impressed with this, because it's so simple, and it's just something we've always wanted on the iPod, iPad. I mean, uh, iPhone. Yeah, all of them anyway. So, um, 
basically if you have a wireless printer it just means you can print a page from straight from your iPhone or Apple device it makes things a lot quicker I mean I've seen things on my iPod and wish they could because I, I have a wireless printer and just wish I could print it off it's as simple as that but now that wish has come true and it's so simple for them to do but I think it's really handy so that will really come in use for some many people should I say so now we've got also as the 4G connection um, was released a few months ago and there's been all gossip will the iPhone have um, the 4G connection but the answer is yes we've got double the speed as you can see from 7.2 megabytes up to 14.4 which is um, over double the performance well just double the performance um, that's it's quicker than some broadband connections to be honest so extra quick um, surfing on your mobile so when this 4G connection comes out it'll be even quicker and that's about it so moving on if we just go up let's have a look at the built-in apps this is going to be quite similar to before I'm just going to shoot through this we've got the camera which is obviously improved now. We've got the video recording, we've got FaceTime, we've got iMessages, which is new and it's going to be great, I think. So we get all the free messaging. Reminders, and that will link to Siri because we can communicate with Siri and reminders to add things. And then we've just got the basic phone, mail, safari, music, videos, photos, app store, iTunes, and maps. Game Center, Calendars, Contacts, and also find my iPhone, which is new. And so you'll be able to find your iPhone if you lose it, and it will help you, yeah, just find it, which will come in handy. And well, it's unique to the iPhone. Let's see what's going on here. So, iOS, we've covered quite a bit of this, so we'll just see if there's anything else on this page. So we've just got reminders, notification messages again, Twitter integration. So obviously there's more apps ever expanding for the iOS or Apple's devices. Oh, I didn't mention this. Um, it's now got multi-touch technology, so you'll be able to play all your games with your friends. You know, it's um makes it a lot more advanced to use and a lot more flashy. So now it do, we've just got the mention of the safe design. Yeah, it has parental controls now, which was n is new to the new iOS system. So it can block things that um you don't want your children to see, for, for example. Uh, it's better for business. I mean, the, the iPhone obviously is a big business contender because of all its features and its applications. So it's got accessibility built in which will make it easier to use generally. And then we've just got all the other languages here you can use like, all over the world I think. Oh yeah I didn't mention that, actually. The I think now works all over the world. It's, so it's say you got one from America it would work in the UK and everything for example now as if you bought an iPhone in America people did because they were much cheaper it would mean that you wouldn't be able to use it in the UK now which wasn't possible before so just for example of iCloud you can um, photo stream documents in iCloud stream them for example look at books and back up to other devices, uh, show your mail and everything. Um, iTunes, show your iTunes. And find your iPhone from other Apple devices. So, text specification. Excuse my slow internet today. So what sizes have we got? Well we've got 16, 32 and 64, there's not 128 that some people are going on about, I think that would be a bit extreme for a phone at the moment. So here we've got the still very sleek design, still the sleekest, we've got the great and Wi-Fi adapter, 
which will increase the performance on Wi-Fi dramatically actually. So we've got Bluetooth wireless technology. Um, yeah, we've got the 3G Wi-Fi, digital compass, assisted GPS, and uh, of course the 4G, which should be coming to the iPhone. Um, we've got the multi-touch display, which is new, and it's obviously a 960 by 440 pixel resolution, a bit better than before, for higher brightness rate and um, performance. We've got the 8 megapixel camera, the autofocus, and the LED flash, like I mentioned, and the 1080p video camera, which record up to 30 frames per second with audio, and it's got video stabilization. Great if you're on the move, you know, trying to do a video. So it's only VGA quality, the front um, camera, but it's better than the last iPhone, most definitely. So we've got here, we've got the on and off button, the vo oops, we've got the volume controls, and we've got the home button, which was said to be going, but it hasn't. And then we've got the built-in speaker at the bottom. And there's the also the headphone jack. So let's have a look at the battery and power. Well, it's um, 8 hours of, of talk time on 3G. 14 on 2G, which is oof, very hard to be honest for um, a phone of this type, a smartphone. Standby time is very fair. Um, internet 3G is 6 hours and 9 hours on Wi Fi, which is still very good. Video playback 10 hours, it used to be about 5 if I'm right. Let's say a big improvement there, up to 48 hours of audio. And considering this is running a higher processor, more memory, it's fairly good actually. So the audio is pretty much the same quality as before, to be honest, so I'm not going to look at that. So AirPlay, it supports 720p quality playback on there. And up to 1080p with the digital AV adapter. So what you get in the box while well, you get the Apple earphones, of course, again, and the um, uh, USB cable lead. Just I mentioned that then. And so we just got all the compatible files now. So I'm not sure if Microsoft Excel was there. Actually, yeah, it was before. But you know, it's great for business again. Carry your Word documents around. It's got no editor, but. That will be seen to come, I think. Available in lots of um, languages, of course. And here we are, just again in the box of the iPhone 4, the Apple earphones, with the microphone, of course, a dock connector, USB power adapter, documentation. So I just missed a few things out there, but nothing exciting. So let's just have a look at the store now. So if we look at the iPhone, it's available on pre-order at the moment. We're currently the 9th of October and it's coming out on the 14th. So it's from four, well, £500 pretty much. Uh, so there's now a black and white one available. Like people are saying, yes, you can have a white if you want, but I definitely prefer the black. So we've got a 16 gig, 100, well, £500, 32 gig, 600 and if you want the 64 then you're paying an extra 100 at 700 so that's the iPhone for you and um, so basically I'd sum this iPhone up as a better specification a um, well Siri great and that's about it really and the new iOS system which will yeah be a lot better and basically it's just a refresh and it's up to date with all the other smartphones now so thanks for watching this guys and um i'll be back with more information on apple products soon hopefully so